Welcome back to I'm Having a Crisis Hour! Guess who's back? Back, 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 back again. And this is Faye, and she's the sister lady of the 21st <laughs> century. <laughs> Anyways, you remember Taylor from a lot of my TikToks and uh, Chaotic Kitchen episode one, the one and only episode <laughs> of Chaotic Kitchen. I also got a haircut and I don't want anyone to talk about it. It looks I, good. It looks good, I just haven't styled it and I don't want anyone to talk about it because I do look like Brett Michaels, Axl Rose. Um, anyways, we were talking about medieval times and how we really miss medieval times. For those of you who don't know what me medieval times is, it's basically you pay $65 to act like a toddler. Um, you literally, it's like a live jousting and horse medieval tournament and you sit you in seats. Color. Yeah, you are assigned a knight of a specific like like, you know, like red, yellow, blue, green, whatever, and you uh, watch them joust. And you eat with your hands the whole time. And they come and serve it to you, and it's like, Your Royal Highness's chick is a Your Royal Highness has served dragon's blood soup and, and a dragon egg. And it's just like Campbell's tomato and soup. And corn is like dragon teeth or something. Yeah, something like that. It's and all garlic parts bread. Of the dragon. Yeah. So we're gonna recreate that because we wanted to go, but coronavirus. Blue. Blue, 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 blue. Insert footage here from us in high school going to medieval times. Huzzah! 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 Also, we're pre-gaming. This is gonna be my skin. <gasps> Look bad. Up skin. close. Is whey protein, um, gluten? Does whey protein make you shit your pants? I've never had whey protein. What's, what is that? Every time I go to the grocery store, I get, hey, I get these because they look delicious and they just make me shit my pants. Shit blood check. Shark. Shark diarrhea check. Hey. And what y'all know about this? Bud Light, Chilada, Clamata. I say it, I say it. What y'all know about this? Bud Light, Chilada, chicken because it was sold out. So we got a cold one, we have to heat it up. Should we put it in the oven? Fully cooked, ready to eat. Should we just eat it cold? No! How would someone in medieval times heat up a chicken? They would rip the leg off and microwave it. <laughs> Where's my Michelada? I put it in the fridge. You are too sweet today. <laughs> it's like sucking on a juicy tomato. Do you want to tell them that I introduced you to these? No. Tell them the truth. <laughs> there is they no truth to, to be know. told. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients. Ear of corn. Tomato basil. <laughs> and individually wrapped potatoes. The lighting is so bad. I can't. Wait, Twilight. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in. goes to the medieval times. Is that before Christ or after? <laughs> like really? I'm not good at geography. When we were in high school I'm together. American. <laughs> yeah, really. When we were in high school together, <laughs> literally like the point of the class was to draw maps. We had to draw maps. That was the point of the class. It was stupid. Taylor had a nine. Do you hear she had a nine in the class? Because I didn't want to draw the maps because it was stupid. And in the car we passed by a place and it said Peruvian food. I said, Taylor, where is Peru on a map? What'd you say? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a geography and history girl. What's 64 divided by two? <laughs> oh, I'm panicking, 32. Where's the chicken? Chimkin. Step one. Hey! Step one, beat that bitch. Beat that bitch up. Beat that bitch up. <laughs> I would've hit you with this so bad. That would leave such an indent on my fucking back. What's first? We should boil the corn. I think- <laughs> Oh my god, really? Like, really? Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh my there god! You go. I feel that noise. That is done. Beautiful execution. Setting timer for T minus. How long? Hurry! It's, it's gonna burn! 25 minutes. 25 minutes? I'm fucking sorry. I was hungry an hour ago! I've been saying that this whole time. Tell them how late it is that we're doing this. Oh yeah, let me let me show. It is 10.30 p.m. and we are making a medieval times meal. Because sometimes when the theater calls, you must answer. Oh. Oh. Disgusting. Ooh. You still want to watch Monsters University later? That are grown-ups too. No, why you gotta pour it like that? Guys, hot take here. Oh wow. 
Dynaco, the blue car from Cars. Sexy. Very sexy, very attractive, very hot. I'm from East Texas. Mater. Nobody asked. Mater is the hot. The story. funny things that nobody asked. I'm gonna stick this in your hair. <laughs> nobody asked about your life story, and everybody asked about my thoughts on the Dynaco race car from the hit Pixar nobody animated asked. classic cars. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> get her, Faye. Hi! Get her, Faye. <laughs> Get her, Faye. Get her. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. <laughs> All right, we're heating up the dragon's blood soup. Next, we're going to make the dragon's egg potato with garlic. Next, we're going to make the dragon's chill. And I have no concept of nutrition. <laughs> this is 350 calories. That means nothing to me. Beef <laughs> <laughs> up. Just beef up. <laughs> Danced the fuck up in Walmart buying a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> we went to Walmart to get a rotisserie chicken. No, don't tell them. And the lady was like, we're closed. Because it was 10 p.m. I went to the fucking meat market. And I was just standing there like this with my mask on. She said, we're closed. And I said, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I got honey bun. Shit. We're putting the corn. This is not like how to cook. This is just like heat it up, shit. I don't know. We're putting the corn well, husk. We don't have like a fire to, to cook it over because we're not actually in the medieval times. The way that your mind is not in it, I, the way that mine I is. I guarantee you that this is how they make it at the actual medieval times. There's just a <laughs> hundred microphones. <laughs> It's delicious. It is. It's delicious. And the it is. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> it smells so bad because of that corn. Open it and it's on fire. Is it delicious? Ooh, oh, romantic. <laughs> that is delicious. I told you it's the best. What's this brand? Campbell's. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Campbell's slow kettle. All right, let's see the grand reveal. <laughs> you just put it in there. It's been set online. Yank it. Just grab it. Grab her. Grab her by the fist. Oh! <laughs> That's gonna make me vomit. That's gonna make me literally, my mouth is watering. I'm gonna vomit. Why did it flop like that? All right, what's next? Potato. All right, going in with the plastic on. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get poisoned. Do not puncture. Take the plastic it's off. Do not puncture or remove plastic wrap prior to microwaving. Microwave on high for approximately six minutes. Is that a joke? <laughs> Taylor! Your apartment's gonna blow up. Probably. This does not feel right. I am farting. <laughs> People say that time heals all wounds. I'm sorry. Corn husk! The noise that's making is making me very nervous. <laughs> Stop! Cut off the very bottom. Yes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stop grabbing it. Now pull it from the top. <laughs> pull what from the top, bitch? I don't know. Close up. <laughs> the corn bussy. The cussy. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of corn. Ow! Yup! This would be blurred out on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be mine. Quit digging into it. What are you filming? <laughs> Your fingers in it. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> she was Guys, amazed. it's her moment. <laughs> Pro health russet potato. Pro health Andrea russet potatoes. Thanks, Andrea, for sponsoring. Andrea Russet, thank you so much for sending me your merch. <laughs> How to season a potato. <laughs> Get your rosemary, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and butter. <laughs> this corn, so delicious. <laughs> Two more minutes on the chicken. <laughs> Andrea Russet, oh, your potato. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use this. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my and god. You said we shouldn't wrap it in plastic and put it <laughs> yes. in the microwave. Yes, I did. And I'm say it again. 
Now what is going on? You seen that video on Give TikTok? Give me some butter on my corn. Give me some butter on my corn. You're a, you're a butter hog. <laughs> <laughs> you butter hog. That sounds so rude. There she is. <laughs> Right. Ladies and gentlemen, her. So do I get a plate, or what's up? It's over there, bitch. That's I yours. put out two plates for you. Oh, that's yours. Huzzah, oh. ye peasants and gentlefolk! Welcome to the Grand Feast, Medieval Feast! Here we have dragon's blood soup, a dragon's egg, the dragon's <laughs> child flesh, and corn. <laughs> And we've got garlic bread in the oven. I don't know what good the garlic bread is supposed to be. Garlic bread, because they have bread. The plebeian's bread! This is- That's my soup! <laughs> Sorry, bitch! <laughs> and ye old grilled cheese! Really doesn't get much better than that. Stick around for a, a mukbang where we eat with our, our hands, because that's- <gasps> At medieval times, you're not given oh silverware. God. Oh my god! All right, all right. And now, the finishing touch. The only soft drink they offer. Pepsi. And a mug. I had this Instacarted, so whoever picked this watermelon did such a beautiful job. It was the sweetest melon I have ever put in between my two jaws. Now, if this is your first visit with us here um, in Brittany's kitchen, just know we're all proud Italians who grew up on the Amalfi Coast seaside. None of us have a vitamin D shortage, that's for sure. <laughs> Ball your melons, that's all I'm showing you here. And yes, I'm actually speaking Italian right now, but for ease of access, YouTube has translated it into British American English. So hope that makes sense. It's something about that first just crack of watermelon. It's just so sweet. Mm. God damn, that's good. Anyway, it's always been a dream of mine to go to Positano, go to the Amalfi Coast, go to George Clooney's house, break into George Clooney's house in Lake Como, uh, breaking and entering, B and E, I get arrested. I'm in the backseat of an Italian police car. I'm screaming to my lover, wait for me, wait for me. And he doesn't wait for me and I rot in jail. This watermelon juice was so delicious. It was so sweet, dude. Oh, it dribbled down my chin. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Get here. I follow all of those accounts on Instagram, like top seven things to do in Italy. Number one, break in to George Clooney's house. <laughs> here I'm grabbing my little Chamberlain coffee mug. Yeah! Pour my watermelon juice in there. Look at how refreshing that looks. And let me tell you something. Hi, it was. All right, finish scooping your balls, and we're scooping our balls. Solo tanto, un poquititito. In the bowl. Miss. Awesome. Whatever. It'll all taste the same when it's in my gut. Now we are gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Uh, mix it up. We're adding some lime juice. Definitely don't use fresh lime juice. Definitely use the lime juice that's been in my fridge for seven months. That's definitely crucial to the recipe. Some fresh mint. The step is to give an offering to the Italian flag. Slap it, slap that bitch. Cause apparently that releases the flavor and the, what's it called, essence of the herb. I don't know, that was pretty good though. So it's like Colgate. Make sure to add Colgate to your watermelon salad. Get that bitch, slap, slap. All right, now we're gonna mix it up. Starting to come together. Starting to look kind of delicious and professional. A little more mint because apparently I love the taste of toothpaste. What's next? <laughs> basil, that's right. I don't have real basil, okay? So we're using basil flakes. Just keep going until your heart tells you that that's enough. Stop, that's enough. Next is this chili lime seasoning and I'm pondering, do I use it? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Cause I don't wanna ruin it, you know? Cause that, like Trader Joe's, it's like, do I trust Trader Joe's to make this delicious, fresh meal? Add some feta cheese. Make sure to take your lactate peel, cause this will send you right to the toilet. Just do a nice little shower of cheese. A nice little rain shower of cheese. Looking good, look at that! 
Italian <laughs> chef. I'm literally chef. Italiano like me. You bitches. Wish you were born in Italy like me. You wish you spoke Italian like me, even though right now I'm speaking Italian, so I guess you understand me. Add a little more lime juice, because if that's what your heart tells you to do, you listen to your heart. Some salt, because salt on watermelon? What do you bitches know about salt on watermelon? Freshly cut, refrigerated watermelon. You stand over the sink. You eat. It's dripping down to your elbow. You're pouring salt on the watermelon, and you're just sucking on it. It's pretty good. Now look at that. Now tell me, that doesn't look good. Recipe I found calls for mozzarella pearls, but I don't think it really, you know, like too much cheese already, and I think it would have ruined it. So I'm adding just a little bit of pepper. You know, these are just the finishing touches. When you're a chef, you understand that it's all just spur of the moment. You know, like I, Remy, this actually looks unappetizing. Wow, now look at that. If I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. Oh, to be a cat bathing in the sunlight next to a watermelon salad. Starting to feel pretty stupid just standing by my window and filming some watermelon in a bowl. Y'all, this was a 10 out of 10. Could not recommend enough. I feel like, you know, with summer, it's always like, I only can't wait for summer. And then it comes and then it's like, it's hot. I want to go home. Then winter comes around and you're like, oh, to be on the Amalfi Coast with a bowl of watermelon in my mouth. So this one is really for you, my Italian fans. All three of you guys. Stanley, let's get some patriotic music. Love you guys, and here's me flipping the flag. Color guard, I am the Italian color guard. I went to an Italian high school. This from Greece, go! All right, that was for all my Greece fans, and if you don't like Greece, then I don't know what to tell you. You know me, no cheese is never gonna be enough. So I sprinkled that cheese back on there, and I had it, and it is good. This was bellissima. Thank you everybody for watching. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Uh, how do you say it? Arrivederci. Grazie mille. Just swaying in the wind, swaying in the Italian wind. I'm being blown away. I'm dancing. Mother, mother, I'm dancing. Now I'm sparring. I'm fighting. You're dead. You're dying. Die. And I forgot that we were supposed to add those mozzarella balls. I actually decided against it because gut can't take it. Even though I actually recently started taking lactate pills, changed my life forever. So, and it was fine without it, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Grazie mille. Hold on, I can do better. <laughs> grazie, gra grazie mille. Go listen to my playlist of uh, Dr. Positano on Spotify. Only one. Um, but have your friends watch this video if they want to. So I'm feeling like that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make chicken and dumplings. When I went on last meals with Mythical Chef Josh, one of my death row meals was my mom's chicken and dumplings. And I told him, I was like, you know, there's a specific way that my family does chicken dumplings and it's weird. It's using tortillas, like using flour tortillas as the dumplings instead of, you know, handcrafting dumplings with flour, dough, whatever. And so he was like, what the f and I was like, yeah, you don't get it. Dude, so I'm gonna make that here today. And I'm in my jammies, and okay, I'm in my moo moo. I'm feeling cozy, I'm feeling crazy. And let's make a hot soup to celebrate summertime. Here's what you'll need. Here's the list of ingredients, okay? Pot, bowl, cutting board. Look at this cutting board, y'all. It is a lemon, and these little green parts are rubbery, so it's non-slip. That is darling. Chicken broth. We've got chicken stock. I like chicken stock because it's saltier and it's stronger than chicken broth. You also are gonna need this better than bouillon, a rotisserie chicken, shredded up, some shredded carrots, some chopped celery. Like I said, those flour tortillas. And then we're rocking with a bunch of this. We've got garlic powder, poultry seasoning, onion salt, Lowry's, absolute crucial key ingredient. We've got some thyme, sage, garlic salt, and then we've got some black pepper. You're also gonna need some butter to lube up your insides. Something about Southern cooking that a lot of people don't understand is you need to lube the body. You need to lube your arteries, you need to lube up your, your swallowing, your gooch, your goozle. Pure Irish butter, okay? Because I am pasty Irish white. So we're celebrating Irish heritage today. One stick of butter. Put the other one, throw the other one away. Throw it. Get it out of here, dude. And that'll be about it. Sometimes my mom adds half and half to it to make it creamier. Hey, makes me shit my pants, okay? Makes me literally liquid diarrhea into the toilet. But it tastes good. It tastes good with the half and half in it. Ooh! But it makes me uh, shit fire, so we will not be doing that. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna fill this up with water and we're going to add the bouillon. Boo jar. And this is baby food for adults, okay? This is baby food for me. I'm honestly, I'm just gonna empty this in here. Cause uh, the saltier the better, honestly. 
Cause listen, I don't know anything about nutrition and I know sodium is good for you, but not that much sodium. You can be seriously dehydrated, but then you have to drink sodium. So how does that make sense? Ooh, Gatorade and all, it's got electrolytes and sodium, which is what you need to rehydrate. Hey, in what universe does that make sense? Scientists, checkmate. I'm gonna put this on the stove for, um, until it starts bo boiling. And I'm gonna add all the ingredients into here as I'm chopping them up. And as this comes to a boil, I'm gonna add everything to here. So here we go. Don't look at the back of my head. Stanley, I'm not joking, blur it out. My stove light went out. Okay, we're gonna add a uh, half a stick of this butter. I almost just did something very, very unhinged. I, um, I tried to rip this in half with my hands and that was not gonna work out for anyone involved. Okay, no one was gonna win if I did that in that scenario. I was, I really was about to just go for that. We're gonna add her in. Like so, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to manhandle the butter. Never be afraid to manhandle anything. I'll grab anything with my fist, okay? Butter, a vegetable, a small child's arm. Just stop. It's not even my child. <laughs> running, it's an airport. What are you running for? Okay, my mom adds the seasonings at this point, but I'm gonna add the seasonings now as well. I don't know why I, I wouldn't do the, uh... I'm like, my mom does it this way and makes it correctly, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like, why would I do that? Okay, let me go for a little garlic powder. Bye. <laughs> it's in the bowl. Okay, add some garlic salt. <laughs> I'm eyeballing all of this, by the way. I don't think it needs onion salt, honestly. Some poultry seasoning. Sage. Okay. Add some thyme. Some Lowry's. And lots of black pepper. Okay. Give that kind of a little mix around. <laughs> the camera. Okay, you guys can see this clearly, right? All right, guys, pay really close attention to what I'm doing. You don't want to miss this part. That's what I did, okay? Can you see? Give it a little taste. Ew! Good, what does it need? All right, we're gonna let her boil. And I'm gonna start chopping. And I'm the only one eating this, so if I sneeze right into the bowl, you bitches can't tell me anything. Okay, so we've got our carrots into the bowl. Mmm, a carrot. Now, I'm gonna add some of this celery, but I don't like too much celery. It makes it taste funky and also my piss smells weird afterwards. These are pre-washed and pre-cut. Uncut, I mean to say. We're dealing with uncut celery. This celery has foreskin. That's really satisfying to do actually. That felt really good. Slow motion, me chopping my finger off. But these also really soften in the, in the soup. I should not have added that whole bag of carrots. That feels really good, I can't lie. Ooh, get into this, get into this right here. Ooh, ooh, why was it kind of burning my eyes? <laughs> hey, why are my eyes burning? Uncut foreskin celery. Yeah, you gotta finger all of them. You gotta manhandle them and finger them and separate them and rip them apart. Enough celery, <laughs> we can move on. Okay, I'm gonna add the chicken actually directly to the, uh, directly to my concoction over there. And then I'm gonna move you guys over there. Oh, we got some boil going on. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna shred this and put it in here. This is pretty much already shredded, but I'm just gonna, again, finger it. Don't be afraid to finger your food. One of the small joys of life is getting to finger stuff. <laughs> Fingering things you love. Yeah. I forgot that when you carrots as I want in there. I forgot my light. Now y'all can see me good. Hi y'all, can y'all see me good? Okay, we're gonna do a mixy. And now, we're going to add the tortillas. Looking good. Come back over here. This is how you cut the tortillas. You think we need a knife? You're wrong. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna do like three or four at a time. And you slice them like a pizza. Don't question the method, just do what I say. Like that, okay? Tortilla. So now you just kind of, Submerge the dumplings. I'm gonna add just a little bit more uh, plain water. The dumplings kind of take up more space when they absorb some of that broth. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little more broth and then we're gonna put the lid on, let it uh, cook for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna clean up our workspace because the woman from Ratatouille changed my life when she said that. Get out of my kitchen. Put some, put some like fun country music over this sped up bit of me cleaning. Mm -hmm. 
Looking very good. Looking very nice. Now we just wait. Wait about 15, 20, 25 minutes for it to boil. And then we chow down. You gotta let it cook. And then what, what we'll do is, um, cause it's such a big pot. I'll freeze, I'll, I'll eat on it for, you know, three, four days and then uh, I'll freeze the rest of it. Or I'll just eat it for a week straight because I don't give a f Because I need sodium. Sodium is my life source, dude. Sodium keeps me going. I don't need water. I don't need vitamins. I need salt. You could put a salt lick by my bed. I literally have a box of goldfish by my bed because that is my salt lick. Sometimes at night I'm like, mm, I need some salt. It's delicious. I like to cook, but it's big. Y'all stay here. I'm gonna come back and stir this. Y'all watch it. Y'all watch, can y'all watch him while I go smoke? Cause I'm leaving. I'll be back. Don't touch my iPad. Don't touch my iPad. I was saying, if the question is, do I listen to the Almost Friday podcast? The answer is unabashedly. Yes, of course I do. It's a problem. The little bit where they do characters back and forth. Need them back. Let's take it back over to the dumplings. Dumpling cam. How are we doing? We'll do a little taste test. I'm very confident about uh, about this dish. Half of the beauty is that really all you need to do is wait for the tortillas and the veggies to cook down because the meat's done. You don't cook meat, okay? The best thing that corporate America ever gave us was the rotisserie chicken, dude. The best thing the 1950s grocery stores gave us was the rotisserie chicken and microplastics. <laughs> Honey, your microplastics. You know what time it is. So let's spin the wheel of mythicality. <sighs> okay, that's hot. This is boiling hot, but let's give it a taste test, shall we? Look at that bite. It's got everything in it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, what's up? Uh-huh, it's delicious. Just burn the out of my mouth. Damn, I did good though. Mm. Damn, that is very delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tastes really great. I'm so good at this. Okay. Gordon Ramsay is coming to my house and he has a gun and he's gonna kill me. He's coming, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let this cook for like five more minutes then I'm gonna have a little bowl. There's you guys. You look gorgeous and beautiful. Hi guys. Stormy. Okay, let's make a bowl. Let's pack a bowl. Ready? Let's see it. Good. Not almighty, that's hot. Fly over. Here's the, here's the spin up. That looks so yum. Wow. All right guys. Let's do a little taste test. Okay. Hey, this one's for you guys. Okay, thanks for uh, thanks for coming with me on this beautiful and fun journey. Shout out to my mom for this recipe. And if you want to make this at home, you go ahead and you tell me if you f it up because this is Southern culture. This is Texan chicken and dumplings, my family style. Cheers for real. Perfect. All right, I love you, mom. I also call mom Misa, AKA Disa, AKA Dita. I love you, Dita. And we'll see you next time, team. Okay, loving you guys, and y'all stay safe. And I love y'all. Tell your mom and I'll get my weapon, too.